that. I think, uh, thank you all for giving me this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the Black Fire Brigade. First of all, the Black Fire Brigade is a pipeline for career for uh, public safety in a, in a whole. Uh, we put over 525 kids through this program, 185 single moms and 14 homeless kids. To this day, we put $8.5 million back in the black community without any city, state, county, or federal dollars. <laughs> our program is nationally and internationally known. Uh, our model became if you teach a kid to save a life, they're going to be less likely to take one. We've taught kids if somebody bleeds, you stop them. You stop them from bleeding. If they stop breathing, you give them the breathe again. And that's pretty much pretty much our whole focus. We have kids that work in every private ambulance company in Cook County. We have kids. We have uh, 17 kids on the Chicago Police Department. We have a number of kids on CFD, the Suburban Police Department. Uh, when you go into ER, you see these little young black kids working in there now. When you come in, they're taking care of you. They're from our program, so we implemented that program. Our kids started off with this program. They got a two-week program, which is an EMR program that gives them an opportunity to drive the ambulance. And 90 days later, they become EMTs. Uh, they start off at 24,000. When they go to phase two, they go to 72,900. We got 19, 20 year olds already making $100,000. Wow. Right. 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 I'm going to sidestep for a minute because I think it's really important. Uh, I'm a project kid. I'm from the streets. I'm a street kid at the end of the day. Uh, people ask me, why did you start the Black Fire Brigade? I've seen more kids shot and killed in my lifetime than the average guy in Vietnam. This is my 26th year on the Chicago Fire Department, and I'm also a former police officer. I have two sons of the Chicago police officers right now today. Crying today, we need to get a real good understanding of what we're doing. We legalize marijuana, and I have nothing against the marijuana industry. If the marijuana industry is making a billion dollars, how much money was the community making? And when we took that opportunity from them, they went to carjackings. If I get a Hemi, I need 10,000. I get seven Hemi's a day, that's 70,000 cash. I supplement that money in the carjacking and robberies, right? So when we think about things, let's think about the impact. You know, I'm trying to stop them from getting into the institution. I'm keeping them outside the institution. So things like what you guys are doing, supporting the Black Fire Brigade, is really the pipeline to keeping kids out before they ever go in. And so continue to support what, who we are and what we do. Um, our kids have been involved in four life safety events that made national news. You've probably seen it. And, and when you get an opportunity, please Google the Black Fiber Brigade. Get a background of who we are, what we do. We have a YouTube channel. We're on every social media. But really dive into who we are and what we do and the success of this program. Um, we'll break down the salaries. I think I covered a lot of it. I know I got a short time, so I'm trying to rush through this without uh, taking up any time because I had like about five minutes. Oh, okay, good. So, um, a lot of the training, uh, when, when you look at, at these kids here, uh, one kid to the right went through this whole program, homeless, 100% homeless. He's a firefighter, he, uh, firefighter paramedic today. He went through the program as, a, as an EMT, he left the EMT, he went to paramedic school, he left paramedic school, and became a firefighter. One of the other kids in the, in the, that you see in the slides, um, his dad died in the line of duty, and now he wants to follow his dad uh, footsteps. The other kid in that photo, and when you see the three young men down here at the bottom, um, his grandfather was left for dead. And he walked in and discovered that his grandfather was still alive and went to work. So the impact of the community is important, the training that they're, they're learning. Uh, we got another kid up here doing innovation. Um, just if somebody, they're trying to get a tube down there and get him breathing again. So he's doing innovation uh, training. The top, when you see the three females, One's a firefighter, one's a firefighter EMT, a firefighter paramedic, and one is a uh, just a direct firefighter EMT. So we just we wanted to show the correlations between what we do as a whole. Uh, we deal with all ages of kids. We have some some summer programs that we go into, but our main focus is 18 to 30, right? So kind of just remember that if you got kids that are 18 to 30, here's the other part of it, right? Our kids, these kids were not your college students. These kids are from the street. But here's the kicker to it. When you're done with the program, when you finish the paramedic program, you have your social security. Every training that they take with us is college credit. So, and most of them go on and get other degrees because they just keep moving forward and forward and forward. But it was a way to bring them back into school without sitting in a formal school <laughs> classroom. Um, it was a way to get them their uh, bachelor's and some 